Luroy's Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Walkthrough, Part 40. Alright, so after you've taken on the legendary bird, Lugia or ho -Oh, you can actually move on towards the Pokemon League. You can um, go to Newbark Town and head west to Toho Falls. Um, but we're going to be saving that for another time, because right now I want to go back to some of the optional areas that we skipped over. Um, mostly I'm going to be going into caves and... A lot of these that we can actually, um, a lot of these we can actually get through now that we have moves like Surf on us, so. I'm gonna start with the Dark Cave. The Dark Cave has three different entrances, and this one is in the route next to Violet City, so that's where we're gonna start off. Um, the Dark Cave is very dark, as you can see, so you will probably want Flash so you can see where you're going. You can get through without Flash, but it's kinda tedious, so you might as well just put it on something. I count myself a Giraffe Rig, just because it also learns Strength and Rock Smash. Um, which come into play in this cave. Also, you'll want Surf to get through everything. So I'm going to spray some repels. You can catch Dunsparce in here, so like way earlier in the game when you first came to Violet City, you can come in here and find Dunsparce. Um, I'm just going to be grabbing all the items in here, pretty much. There aren't any trainers in the Dark Cave, so that's kind of nice, um, but some decent items you can grab. There was a potion right there, you could have gotten that like ages ago, so that's why it's a crappy item. Um, if you have Surf, though, you can grab this over here. I think this is... Oh, okay, it's the Black Flute. Now, what the Black Flute is, it's an item that helps ward off wild Pokemon. It's not exactly a repel, but it will increase the wild encounter rate, so it makes it less likely wild Pokemon will appear in the grass. And it has infinite usage, so it's kind of nice. You won't run out of it after using it once. So if you ever run out of repels and, you know, use your Black Flute, and you won't run into as many wild Pokemon. Now anyways, we could use Rock Smash here, but um, sometimes when you use Rock Smash, wild Pokemon pop out, so I'm just going to surf around it just to make sure. Um, this body of water right here, if you go up to the top of it, it will lead to a second portion of the cave, but we will be covering that later. That connects to Blackthorn City, so um, we'll be saving that for after all this stuff. You guys will see. Anyways, if you have Strength, you can get through the middle of here. You actually don't really need Strength, because um, you can go through the entrance on Route 46, and you can actually get through it without strength on this side over here, but if you want to get from side to side, you actually need strength. Um, use Rock Smash there, you can sneak around this path, and grab a Hyper Potion. Um, the better items come along in the later part of the cave, but there's still some pretty decent stuff over here. Anyways, we'll spray our repels again. We're probably going to be using like a million repels, because I'm probably going to go into like four or five caves in this video. So it's probably going to be pretty long. Um, Anyways, here's an item. A full heal, always nice to grab. And I think there's maybe one more. I think that's pretty much it for over here. Um, okay, one more item. And that's a dire hit. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is head south, and this will actually bring us back to Route 46. And if you came in from this side, you can use Rock Smash to get up there. But um, Route 46 connects to Newbark Town. It is the route on the, you know, you know that trail Bla south of Blackthorn City? It goes all the way down to here. Um, we came here a couple videos ago. We're actually going to uh, fly back to Blackthorn City and enter the other side of the cave over there, um, because that way we can check out some more stuff. This connects to that body of water I was mentioning earlier. So, um, you actually don't need to fly the Blackthorn to do this. As long as you have Surf, you can get over there, but this way is just easier for me. So, getting to Route 45, and if you keep going south here, that leads back to where we just were. Um, but yeah. So, once again, we're going to have to use Flash. Um, so, let's go ahead and use our Giraffe Rig. Giraffe Rig is pretty handy for this kind of stuff. Um, you really don't need Flash a whole lot in this game. Most of the caves are already lit up, so Flash, I think this is really the only time you need to use it, other than the Whirl Islands, if you decided to use it in there. Um, anyways, let's see, body of water down there, and that's the only path, so let's go over here, and, um, surf. So obviously you need surf in most all of these caves. Pretty much, um, surf is the reason you can get through all these places I'm going to show you. Um, alright, spray some more repels, and we will advance. Now, I think, um, let's see, there are like two paths you can take. One of them has an item, one of them you can talk to a guy. Let's go over here first. And if you loop all the way around here, you will find a dude eventually. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is up there. So yeah, um, if I didn't make it clear earlier, all this is optional stuff. It's not required to beat the game. I'm just doing it just to, just for the sake of covering everything. Um, but this guy's actually kind of useful. You might want to talk to him. 
He will give you the black glasses. That's an item that will boost up dark type moves 20%. A uh, pretty handy item. It could definitely come into good use when you're in the Elite Four because there is a Psychic type user in the Elite Four. So if you have the black glasses and you have a move like Crunch or something, that will help a lot in that battle. Anyways, I'll use Repels one more time and we'll get to the rest of the stuff over here. On the other side, there's a couple items you can grab. So let's get to it. Um, probably going to have to use Surf again down here. So yeah, this might be kind of a boring video, we're not really covering anything new, not really anything exciting going on, just me wandering around getting items, pretty much. Um, Alright, so Aquavolt to use some Surf, and let's see, over here there is an item. I don't really remember what it is. Alright, it's a Revive, so there we go, and I think there's like one more item in here, I think there's a TM. I'm pretty sure it's a crappy TM, I don't really remember what it is though. There's a lot of crappy TMs, I'll tell you that much. Um, but anyways, let's see, over here somewhere... Aha, there we go. Alright, TM54 False Swipe. Actually, this item is kind of useful. Um, it will never knock out the Pokemon, it will leave them with one hit points if they're low enough on health. Um, so it's kind of useful for catching legendaries. And this is the body of water that connected to Violet City. So that's it for the Dark Cave, guys. We are all finished up in here, we've grabbed all the items. So we will head out and head over to the Union Cave. I will see you guys all in a minute. Alright, to get to the Union Cave, um, you'll start off in Azalea. And the Union Cave is the place we came through a long time ago. Um, there's a Slowpoke Well, by the way. We'll be going there in a bit. But yeah, it brings you over to Route 33. Um, there's quite a lot of stuff to do in here, actually. Um, there's kind of a north and south side to the Union Cave. The north side has to do with the Ruins of Alf. So I actually will be saving that for another time. I'm going to be focusing on the south side of the Union Cave. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do over here. There are a handful of trainers to fight. And you can actually find yourself a Lapras at the end of here. So, yeah, kind of cool. Um, you're going to need Surf in here, and I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't think you need Rock Smasher Strength. And you definitely don't need Flash or anything. So I actually got myself um, a different Pokemon out to use HMs. I caught myself a Poliwhirl off screen. And I did that because it knows, um, or it can learn Waterfall, Rock Smash, Strength, and Whirlpool. And that's kind of everything I really need from this point on. Um, anyways, here's a trainer we can fight. There we go, we beat him. Go, go away! Alright, weird how a guy dressed up like a Pokemon is just, like, deep within this cave. <laughs> Anyways, I'm probably going to be cutting out all the trainer battles just because it's going to take long enough going through all these caves, so... Adding in the battles will make it take even longer. And I just ran past that dude. Alright, let's go back and fight him. Get back here, you! Alright, what do you want? Let me demonstrate my findings. Alright, whatever. And it's Kangaskhan goes down. Alright, so another crazy Pokemaniac dude. Um... Kangaskhan's are always fun to fight, though. I don't think we've seen them at all in the game. Um, anyways, time for some surfing. And, yeah, there's, like, two or three trainers over here and a few items to grab, so... That's what we're doing. Um, you can actually get some decent experience if you... Especially if you came here, like, right away when you could use Surf. Um, you'll be able to level up pretty easily. Because there are some decent leveled fights over here. Most of them are in, like, the 20s, I think. But Still, if you came here right after surfing, it's... You know, it's a good for experience. Um, anyways, I think there's an item. Let's grab this one first. Whoa! Trainer already! Did not see him there. Alright, Ace Trainer Battle Time! There are two kinds of people, those with style and those without. Which kind are you? Everyone knows there are really only two kinds of people in the world. The people that play Pokemon and the people that wish they were cool enough to play Pokemon. And yeah, that guy was pretty cool because he had Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur, so like, flash back to the original games with the starters there. Um, time for some more repels. Yeah, this is just really, I would not blame you guys if you just X out of this video, because there's really like, it, I don't know, it's just boring, kind of. I always think these parts are boring, I don't like doing them. I never really go within these caves when I'm playing on my own, but I figure some people will want to take a look at them and check them out, so that's why I'm showing them. Anyways, more trainer battles!
You know, I already had enough with those evolutions after fighting those kimono girls, so yeah, that was a whole lot of fun. It's kind of weird that her EV was level 26 and the rest of them were level 22. I don't really understand though, but um, yeah, Heracross is getting like all the experience, so let's switch things up and put Crobat up in the front. Crobat's like the lowest on levels right now, so he needs it, so yeah. Let's go ahead and fight this trainer. And that was easy. You'd rather pet your Pokemon than battle. <laughs> Some Pokemon I would not want to pet, like a Cacturn. Huh, <laughs> yikes. Alright, so this is actually the end of the line for the cave. Um, if you're playing on a Friday, you will find a Lapras in here swimming around. So, if you want to catch Lapras, set your DS clock to a Friday, or actually wait for a Friday, I don't know. But, yeah, Lapras is a really good water and ice type Pokemon. I'd highly recommend it. It's an awesome Pokemon for the Elite Four. Um, so if you're still looking to get a water or ice type, you can do that right away after you get the HM for Surf, which isn't really that far into the game, so... Pretty nice. Anyways, we are done in here, so let's use our escape rope to get out. And, like I said, the north part of the Union Cave, um, leads to the Ruins of Alf, but I'm gonna be doing all of that in a later video. So anyways, it's time to head to the Slowpoke Well. Um, it has been a very long time since we came to the Slowpoke Well, but this is where we first encountered Team Rocket. And they were cutting off all those tails of the innocent Slowpokes, but... Um, yeah, now we're coming back down, because once you have Surf, you can do some cool stuff in here. Also, you're going to need Strength while you're in here. And what is this, one of those photographers or something? Yeah, I'm not really... I don't want to get my picture down here, I got stuff to do. Um, I don't even know why they put all these photographers throughout the game. Like, they're here like two days of the week, it's like, who really cares? Um, but anyways, let's use Surf, and we can go over here now. Never mind, wrong spot, <laughs> this is just a bunch of nothing. Alright, so let's use our repels again. Um, but yeah, you obviously can't come back here till way later on. But once you can, um, there's really no trainers in here, just a couple items to grab. Um, one of them is pretty nice though, especially if you, if you caught a slowpoke, you will probably want to think about coming back here. So, once you have strength, you can move this thing out of the way. Don't ask me why you couldn't just like, I don't know, fly over it or jump over it or something like that. No, you need strength! Um, anyways, let's surf down here, and there's the ladder. Man, we better be careful wandering around these caves, otherwise, like, a bunch of boulders might fall, and we might get our arms stuck, and we might have to cut it off to be free, just like that movie. I don't know if any of you saw that movie, I thought it was pretty good. What was it called, like, something, something hours? 72 hours or something, I don't remember. You know that movie where that guy was, like, hiking, then, like, all those boulders collapsed on him, and then he was stuck? I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Anyways, there's this dude down here who apparently likes just hanging out underneath the Slowpoke Well. Um, he'll give you the King's Rock. This is the item I was talking about earlier. If you attach this to your Slowpoke and trade it, it will evolve into Slowking. You can also do the same thing to get a Poliwhirl to evolve into a Politoed. So, a pretty good item if you have either of those Pokemon. Additionally, if you attach it to your Pokemon, it will occasionally make the target flinch. So, it has some use even if you don't use a Poliwhirl or a Slowpoke. And there's the TM for Rain Dance. And a lot of people like using that because it gives Thunder perfect accuracy and boosts up water type moves. Anyways, that's it for the Slowpoke Well. I'm going to be heading out in a minute here towards Mount Mortar, which is where we're going next. See you all in a minute. Alright, so Mahogany Town or Ecruteak City will be good if you're trying to get to Mount Mortar. Um, make sure you have an empty slot in your party. Um, don't bring six Pokemon in here, because then you won't be able to get a cool special Pokemon at the end. It's like your prize for doing all this work. So, make sure you have five or less Pokemon with you, then go into this entrance in the middle here. And you will need Surf and Waterfall. Now, we already covered a lot of Mount Mortar um, in part 26 of the walkthrough, so if you're interested, head over to that video. Um, we got, like, all the items and fought all the trainers. Um, all the stuff you could do before we had Waterfall. Now that we have Waterfall, we can get to, like, the whole back part of this cave. And that's where all the cool stuff is. That's where we can do a cool challenge and get a Pokemon, like I was saying earlier. So, head up the Waterfall, um, spray some more Apels, and then we'll be ready to go. Um, anyways, this next part is kind of annoying. It's like, there's a lot of items in this next room, and you pretty much just need Surf to navigate around. But it's kind of complicated because they make it confusing of how you get to every item, because you have to keep going back and forth. Um, oh yeah, and I guess there's this one trainer right here, I forgot about him. 
What is this, one of those super nerds? Yo, Marcus! What is that even supposed to mean? Yo, Marcus? I don't know, maybe it's some inside joke that I'm not in on. Anyways, this dude's got a Seedra. Actually, at level 39, not bad. Anyways, let's cut this thing out. Alright, you guys know how to take care of Seedras anyways, so... They have really bad special defense, that's all I need to say. Um, anyways, let's surf over here. We can grab an item if we do so. I'm going to try to grab every item in here. It's really easy to get, like, mixed up because there's all these ledges and stuff and it's confusing, but uh, whatever. Alright, so everyone's favorite, the rare candy, which I will not use, but whatever. Um, in case you're worried about that rare candy myth, it's not true that your Pokemon are weaker if you use rare candies. That's only the case if you use, like, 90 of them. As long as you, you know, actually train up your Pokemon a decent amount regularly, rare candies aren't going to make them any weaker. Anyways, now that I get out of my chest, because I know people will comment about it and be like, Ooh, rare candies are evil! Um, yeah. We can surf over here. So, um, I think we gotta hop off, hop off on this side. Yeah, there we go, we can grab this item. And it's a max potion, so nice. I never really get max potions, because I figure hyper potions work just as well and they're cheaper. I mean, usually your Pokemon don't go over 200 hit points anyways, but... Yeah, whatever. Um, let's surf up here now, and yeah, like, like you just have to keep surfing and getting off, and then you have to worry about not hopping over the wrong ledge, and it's just like, yeah, it's tedious almost. Um, let's surf up here. I mean, it's like, why can't we just walk? Why do I have to surf, like, every five steps? Uh, anyways, let's... Eh, I wonder if... Eh, there's probably no hidden items, whatever. Someone else can check if they want. Okay, more repels. I'm actually getting kind of low on repels, so let's hope we can make it through here, because I don't want to deal with wild Pokemon. But at least I have the black flute on me in case that happens. Um, let's hop down here, and then we can go around. Oh yeah, I remember this part. You have to, like, hop down, go around, grab the item, then hop back down and go back around. It's like, oh, why do they make this so difficult? Anyways, um, yeah, if you want to grab this item, you have to loop back around. So, I don't even know what it is. Maybe it's not even worth it. Oh, TM40 Aerial Ace. So it probably is worth it. So there you go. Once you have one... This is kind of late in the game to be getting Aerial Ace, but... Um, a pretty good flying type move, it never misses, and a lot of Pokemon can learn it, so check it out if you want. Um, I already have it on Heracross, and I don't think anything else can learn it, so whatever. Um, but yeah, now we gotta go back around, and um, more items over here, and more surfing, yay. Alright, so do I hop down here? I for Ah, oh, crap, I went the wrong way. Alright, let's cut back. Uh. Alright, so when you get here, go up and surf in the water. Do not hop down like a fool. See, so you guys can all learn from my mistakes. That's the great thing about this. I put in the hard work, and then you guys are like, Oh yeah, I'm not going to be an idiot like Leroy and jump down there. Um, there's an escape rope, so good, we can get out of here once we finally finish. And um, we can surf back around this. Are you guys starting to see a trend? You grab an item, you hop down, you surf, you avoid the ledges, you grab another item, you surf, you avoid the ledges, you loop back around, you grab more items, and you surf. I mean, that's all we're doing. If you're not interested in any of these items, there's really no point in coming here, but I guess there is the cool um, challenge at the end where we get a special Pokemon. Um, anyways, let's grab this item, which is a Dragon Scale. You can use that to evolve your Seedra into a Kingdra if you trade it while holding that item. And here's one last item, it's an Elixir, so... We can finally surf over one last time and go down the ladder and get out of this annoying place. I'm glad I never have to go through there again. <laughs> Anyways, let's go down here. And phase two of... Doing stuff in Mount Mortar, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, alright, so this part's kind of weird and confusing. Not really confusing, it's just kind of different, because you kind of have to go through right there. Um, let's spray the repels again. If you're not watching the video, you're just listening to me, you're probably so confused. I'm like, yeah, go around there, go through there, it's kind of confusing, you gotta go through there. Um, but if you're watching, maybe, hopefully it makes sense. But yeah, there's an iron, so that'll, that'll boost up your defense. Um, or if you don't want to do that, you can just sell it for a lot of money. I mean, if you're, like, anti-defense, I don't know. There's an ether right there, it's hidden. I kind of just got lucky and found that. And I doubt they have hidden items on these rocks. Nah, I didn't think so. Alright, I didn't even mean to find that um, hidden item right there. I just run, ran up and pressed A, and then I had it. Now I keep running into rocks. Alright, so, um, there's a couple more items to grab over here. There's this one up here. I keep running into stuff, wow. Alright, it's an iron ball. <laughs> so you can get an iron and an iron ball. 
If you have the move Fling, the Iron Ball does like a ton of damage with that. And oh crap! I son of a bell sprout! I just went the wrong way. I gotta go all the way back now. No, it's not fair. Oh, all the way through that long part of the cave again. I'll be right back. All right, so I actually had to go through all that surfing crap again to get back to this point. So, once again, learn from my mistakes and don't hop back down to the beginning. Instead, go over this way and head to the ladder. Or actually grab this item first. I think it's like, max revive, full restore. Oh, max revive. Oh, I was right the first time, okay. So, grab a max revive and head down the ladder, and then we're actually at the end of this place. Oh, wild battle! Yeah, because I ran out of repels on my way back, so... I might run into a few wild Pokemon. Anyways, let's check out this rock. Arrgh! Yeah, this rock seems very suspicious. Oh, another Max Revive! Wow, nice! And that is an awesome item, so I'm glad I found that. Alright, so cool, we found two hidden items. Um, anyways, this is the challenge! This is the uh, great Kung Fu Master. Actually, he's the Karate King, but I just thought Kung Fu Master sounded cool. Then he's like, battle with me! Hurrah! For some reason, all the karate guys just like making random sounds like Krah! and they all have weird names like Kyo or Kyo or however you say it. But um, he's got a Hitmonlee and a Hitmonchan. Um, you know, somewhat challenging, but you guys should be able to take care of it at this point in the game. Pretty much, you beat this guy, and he gives you a prize Pokemon. So we'll talk about that more at the end of the battle. But yeah, it's you know, it's Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. You know, decently challenging Pokemon. But if you have a Psychic or Flying type, you pretty much should be fine. They don't really know that great of moves anyways, if I recall correctly, so it's really not that bad. I mean, for the Karate King, he's not that much of a threat. Alright, so we'll hit Monchan to finish things off, and Batman should be able to knock this thing out also. So let's fly up. And um, this thing actually knows all the elemental punches, like Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch. And Vacuum Wave, apparently. So it really doesn't have anything that good, so the Hitmonchan's not that threatening. And there it goes. So, um, once you defeat the Karate King, um, I mean, who gave him that title? Does he just call himself the Karate King, or is he, like, widely known as the Karate King? I don't know. But this is why you need to make sure you have an extra spot in your party, because he is crushed and his training is not enough. So, as proof that we defeated him, he's going to give us a Tyrogue. Tyrogue is a, um, it's kind of like a baby Pokemon, I guess. It's a fighting type. It will either evolve into Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, or Hitmontop. So, I think it's like when you get to level 20, if your attack is higher than your defense on the Tyrogue, it evolves into a Hitmonlee. If the defense is higher, you get a Hitmonchan. And if they're equal, you get a Hitmontop. So that's Tyrogue. Um, take a look at its moves here. And this is actually it, guys. Um, we are done exploring all the extra caves. So next time, we're actually going to be heading back towards the real part of the game, the stuff we're actually supposed to do. And we're going to head towards Toehall Falls, which brings us to the Pokemon League. So stay tuned for more. I will see you guys all next time.